What's up, motherfuckers? This is the Booty Warrior. And today, I got a special package in my mail. That's right, I got myself a Nintendo 64. Never actually tried this before. Um, well, I mean... The extent of my exposure to the N64 is when I used to go to children's hospitals... I think they had this hooked up a couple times, and they had, like, Mario Kart or something. It was some kind of racing game. Uh, I don't have too many memories about it, to be honest. And I gotta say, it has... The weirdest looking fucking controller I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, I actually got this earlier this week. But it was a messed up... They fucked it up the first time. And I ended up buying this from a different seller entirely. Uh, I think I originally got my first N64 earlier this week from Nintendo's official Amazon page. But yeah, I usually have more luck getting old-fashioned consoles that are, like, from a third-party source or something. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I should just say reseller. Like, like people that are not official resellers. But yeah, uh, the first time I got it, the joystick was actually fucked up. Like, this was off to the side or something, and it wouldn't automatically go in the center like it's supposed to. And the console was dirty. I think it was the gray version of the N64. And, see, I can tolerate a little bit of dirt, because, you know, it's a fucking old video game console. Those things hardly last even when they were refurbished, as far as, like, cosmetics go. And I had a more classical... Uh, N64 design on the controller. But yeah, once I noticed the joystick was fucked up, I was like, okay, I'm definitely refunding this and getting something else. And I spent a few more dollars on this than I did on my first attempt. But, we're gonna see how it works. I, I know it turns on. I have it hooked up to my Elgato. Behold my fucking beautiful wire setup. I know what you're thinking. Wow, booty, that is... The greatest wire setup I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. I know. I don't mean to brag, but I'm kind of a badass when it comes to that kind of thing. <laughs> but yeah, um, I only have one single game. I was going to get two games. I was going to get, one of them was going to be Ocarina of Time, but it was actually stolen. Either before it got to my doorstep or while it was at my doorstep. Because when I opened the package, I noticed the other end was already open. And, suspiciously enough, um, first of all, the guy who dropped it off, the Amazon Prime delivery person, did not knock on the door. So that's fun. I don't know why people are so fucking lazy they don't knock on the door. And honestly, this really is not the best neighborhood anyway, to just be leaving shit out in the open. I'm lucky that's the only fucking time my shit's gotten stolen. But yeah, uh, I noticed there was like a stick or something on it, so I don't know if the Prime Delivery Man put that there, which would imply that he took it, or he noticed it was it broke or it got lost or something mid-transit, and he just decided to leave them, leave it by my door anyway. The best part about that is I don't even know if I can get a refund on that, you know, because usually Amazon Prime's refund policy depends on you actually sending the item back. And from what I understand, if I wanted to get the refund, I'd actually have to contact the authorities or something. It's going to be a fucking ordeal. And it was only like $20, $30, so I don't even know if I'm willing to do that. Because I'm not too far off from getting my next paycheck anyway. But anyway, um, yeah, so the game we're going to be playing today, it's upside down. <laughs> Turok 2, The Seeds of Evil. I know I already played this. On my, uh, I played the remastered version on PC, and I'm not doing an entire playthrough on this. I'm probably, if I continue my Turok 2 playthrough properly, it's probably going to be the remastered version, since I already made so much progress and it's going to look nicer anyway. But, I want to get my first impressions playing this, because I've always been curious about how the original Turok ports worked, you know? And I'm curious... From what I heard, it doesn't control that bad on this controller. Like, I already know that you use these buttons to move, at least in the original Turok game. I don't know if they maintain that for the sequel. I imagine they did. 
but it's like you use this to aim, you use this to move, the yellow buttons here. And, yeah, my shit's already hooked up to the Elgato, so we're gonna get straight into it. Alright, it's been a while since I did this kind of thing. Wait. Okay, I was kind of nervous at first. I was like, wait a minute. Is there an issue with the audio? <laughs> I was like, huh. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be sound there, but never mind. Oh man, this looks so fucking pixelated. I'm sure it'll look better on my CRT TV. I'm probably gonna play most of it on there, as opposed to on here, on my HD TV. But you know, I gotta do this at least for the video. Oh yeah, that's already noticeably slower than it was uh, in the remastered version. And actually, hold on, let me move my microphone a little bit closer. I noticed it's a little bit on the quiet side. Okay, that should be okay. Uh, audio levels look alright. I might turn it down slightly. Now, where would... I guess I press V or A? I guess those are like the star buttons in this? Hmm. What's in options? I guess B and A on the controller do the same thing. So, difficulty... See, we got easy, normal, and hard. I'm actually gonna start off on normal. You know, I don't want it to be crazy. Because I want to have time to get used to it. Expert. Arcade. Hmm. Left. Or right. Wait a minute. Wait, they actually let you switch the controls? So if I change this to left, that means I could use the D-pad instead? Hmm. Look spring. Uh, I don't think I want that. Eh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it on for now just to see how it is. I guess. Auto-aim. I do want that on. Hmm. I'll probably keep... Look, spring off in that case. Green and red. Or no blood in case you're a pussy. Now what's inside of this? I'm honestly surprised how much control they give you over the options for like an old school game. Of course I can't do multiplayer. Uh, I mean I guess I could do multiplayer if I uh, got an extra controller and plugged it into my console. But yeah. Good fucking luck finding people who want to play in 64. In this day and age. This game is Rumble Pack compatible. Please insert your Rumble Pack now if you wish to play with it. I don't even know what the Rumble Pack does. So I'm not going to worry about that. It doesn't look too much worse. Yeah, I love the, those animations, man. They're goofy. They're so exaggerated. Greetings, Turok. I am Adon. Apparently, Acclaimed had their own comics based on the games. So, you got the original 1950 series, and then you got the 90s reboot, from what I understand. And at some point, there's like a graphic novel in there, but you also have the Acclaimed comics. And from what I understand, they all have their own continuity, which is a little confusing, but... Comics, continuity is often very confusing. So, whatever. You know what, we're just gonna go right into it. Like, I already know what the fucking plot is. Wait, can I not skip this? Oh. <laughs> Zero out of a million! Okay, how fucking dare you? I'm not sure if I'm gonna go ahead and, like, beat the entire level, because... Yeah, Turok levels are no joke, man. I mostly want to just get my, my first impressions here. Alright. Oh my god, this frame rate. And it's inverted. Wait, how do I change that?
Please tell me I can change it from inverted, because that's fucked up. What about arcade? Let's try arcade, see what that changes. Uh... Okay, so... Arcade mode. God, that frame rate is fucking disgusting. <laughs> uh... See, I remember, from what I understand, the original Turok on the N64 had a pretty stable frame rate. This has a lot of drops so far. So yeah, if I turn on arcade mode, it seems to turn it into some weird... tank controls thing. Okay, I'm definitely changing that. I don't want that. Let's try look spring on. Control stick. Vertical. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, is this sensitivity? So this is very confusing. So the C buttons make it go down. But if I press... A or B on the controller makes it go up. Let's try this. Weapon select. Normal. I guess we'll do quick. Okay, so now the D-pad activates the map, apparently. And if I press the left shoulder button, that makes it go away. What, am I crouching now? What the fuck? Okay, so D... So down on the D-pad makes me crouch. I didn't even know this game had a crouch mechanic. I don't remember having crouch. God, it fucks me off so much that it's inverted. <laughs> Ugh. I do not play games like that. Wait, so what? what's the attack button then? So the right shoulder button makes me jump. Let's try left. Maybe that'll feel better. And I... It seems like I have to go all the way down here to be able to exit that menu. That's kind of jank. Okay, that's a little bit better. But how do I... Attack? It's a little bit... It feels a little bit more natural. So now the left button, the left shoulder button, makes me jump. What's the attack button? The C buttons are not doing anything right now. Okay, so B and A bring up the inventory. I, oh god. Also, goddamn, this is dark. This is actually really dark. This is gonna take some getting used to. Okay, hopefully I don't need to be able to uh, do precise aiming too much because I have auto-aim turned on because goddamn, dude. I don't play games with inverted aiming, like, ever. Okay, that could be, like, a fun challenge that I could do for a, a shooter I'm more familiar with. Maybe on, like, PC or something, but I can't even imagine trying to do it with an N64 controller. So yeah, if I look up, it slowly brings my view back down. Wait, what? What is blocking me right now? And if I double tap the D-pad, it makes me do a little bit of like a dodge forward, just like in the classic Turok. If I hold down A or B, it attacks for some reason. So I guess B and A bring up different parts of the inventory. Yeah, I don't even think the PC version has a weapon wheel. So I was right in my Turok Evolution commentary, actually. Okay, maybe... Can I even attack with the bow? Let's see. Uh, maybe I messed up with auto-aim. Maybe auto-aim is somehow affecting my ability. Oh shit. Maybe it's somehow affecting my ability to like aim and well, shoot rather. 
use a lot more narrow, but I guess that's to be expected on N64. Ah, shit. At least I'm not getting attacked yet. So I have, like, a little bit more time to figure out what the fuck is going on. I guess I'll activate this. Wait, no, I gotta get the power cell first. How the fuck do I attack? Okay, I'm gonna send it back to the left just to, like, see if one of the buttons is fucked up. Excuse me, right. At least it lets me go backwards. Okay, all the C buttons are working. Is there, like, a button I'm missing on here? Wait a minute. What the fuck is this? Bruh, huh? <laughs> Bruh. There is... There's a button on the back of this controller. <laughs> so let me get this straight. They expect me to shoot with this awkwardly placed the back button. Instead of the shoulder buttons or anything that would make sense, it's the fucking back button. This is so... This is so awkward. Like, you guys have no idea. Like, I have... Okay. I, I'm, like, barely able to reach it with my fucking middle finger right now. Wow. Well, like, like, I was literally about to look it up. Like, how, how to shoot. What is the name of this button? Z. It just says Z on the key. I guess that solves the mystery, because I used to try uh, N64 emulators once in a while. And I noticed that there was something listed as the Z key, and I just assumed it was one of the, sh the face buttons or something. I guess I could. Yeah, I don't need those arrows, man. Fuck those arrows. Now, can I figure out how to get to that gun? It's been a while. <laughs> in case you're wondering, yes, this is extremely janky aiming. Like, it's actually very sensitive, to be honest. Like, if I push hard at all, it just zips on across the screen. So, like, I have to be very deliberate, very slow about how I use it. Now, it lets me turn it down. Uh, so maybe if I turn it down to negative... Let's try negative five on both. See how that goes. I assume that sensitivity. I don't know what the fuck it's talking about otherwise. Now, I remember in the PC version, at least, you're able to, like... You can actually land on this if you do, like, a... Yeah, you do that shit. Although, I, I don't even know if it's technically required, but it feels good to do. So now, if I want to get a new gun, I can go here. I can shoot that out. I still don't know what that does. I think it's literally just for light, and that's it. Now, if I want to go back... Let's mess around with the bow first, alright? Okay, we're making progress, bitches. It took us, like... What, like, ten minutes to figure out the controls? <laughs> you know you're in for some shit when you see that. So I'm curious how accurate I have to be. Like, does it magnetize like in Turok Evolution? No, it doesn't. No, it really fucking doesn't. Oh my god, it doesn't. I have, I have auto-aim turned on, right? Apparently I do. God, I'm not used to being super slow about this. And trying to hold this... Oh my god, AI, please. Alright, can we hit this static target? No. Alright, we did it, bitches. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like a fucking caveman right now, man. <laughs> 
I feel like I've never played a fucking video game before. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> Okay, we can do it, gamers. We can fucking do it. Ah, people used to play this? Like, no shit? People enjoyed this? <laughs> Damn, man, the early 90s must have been some crazy fucking shit. What's this? More ammo? Cool. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. Good thing I'm on normal difficulty, motherfuckers. I, I don't even know why it's auto-aiming. God, holy shit. Ugh. I cannot- I literally can barely touch the fucking analog stick right now, by the way. Like, I can't- I can barely move it with my thumb. Because my middle finger is pressing against the Z key to keep this fucking bow ready. Okay, wait. So how bad is the accuracy? I think you have to hold it a while, right? Yeah. Yeah, you actually have to hold it, so, so... So if I wanted to aim at a target, this is basically what I had to do, because of how fucking far away the thumbstick is... ...from my thumb. Is I hold it down, so I'm holding it down with the Z key, with my middle finger. My thumb... I mean, I guess if I stand still, I could, like, mess around with the thumbstick? But then I can't access the D-pad, because I'm using... I have to use my left hand to move the analog stick, but that makes me still, so I can't move. Which means, if I wanted to use the bow, I would have to... God, I'd have to, like, not fucking aim at all. Yeah, I don't remember what's up here. Let's take a look. At least this game has a pretty good map. <sighs> you know what? I'm not letting this fucking game beat me, bro. Okay, I refuse. Ugh, it's so disgustingly sensitive. How much more can I mess with that, actually? Let's try 12. Okay, fuck it. Okay, that's a little bit more my speed. Well, okay, that might be a little too slow. We'll see. It still feels a little jittery. It's kind of interesting they let you get the pistol so early. They do that in, a uh, First Turok as well, but there's not really much point, because you basically see it right after you meet the first enemy anyway. Dude, I can't even imagine trying to play this on hard mode. I mean, I might try it for shits and giggles, but man, I don't even know if you can do the, the dive forward when you're on the surface as opposed to underwater. Nani? Oh shit. Okay. Can I jump over you? Okay, hold on. Uh, thanks for flipping, sir. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, are you not dead? Also, why is it so slow when it's moving up? That's the slowest look spring I've ever fucking seen. It should be like an instant, man. Let me try... Turn this down to 10. Turn this down to 10. I have a feeling that most of this commentary is just going to be tra me trashing on the controls, man. And I, I don't fuck around, man. I mean, I played PS1 first-person shooters that play better than this. Okay, can we hit this guy? How do you even dodge? Oh, wow. Uh, the frame rate makes the aiming even fucking harder, too. There's, like, barely enough space for me to dodge to the side on that guy. I mean, I guess I could have jumped over it. Let's see what's over here. Uh, 
Come on, game. You can do it. There you go, boy. Oh yes, it's so fucking dark, I absolutely need this flashlight. Man, going back to the remastered version is gonna be glorious. <laughs> oh shit, there's another enemy. Hold on. Alright, come on. Ah, oh, come on, I hit you twice, bruh. I'm coming, bruh. Give me like 10 minutes. <laughs> oh my god. I'd be crying too if I was in this fucking game. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Oops. Fucking oops, bruh. Oh, that's just great, man. Wait, so like, do all the enemies respawn? Okay. They don't, thank god. I mean, maybe some of them do, but... I guess it's good enough that they don't all do that. So I don't understand, why the fuck is there a dot? Why is there a crouch button in this game? Because I don't remember there being a crouch button in the PC version. At least in the remastered version of the PC version. So it's like, if, if your character just automatically crouches when you get to an area you can crouch under, what's even the fucking point, you know? Oh my god. But actually, because of how awkward it is to look up and down, like, handling... Narrow space is actually so hard. You know, I guess I might as well turn it up. I guess I'll put it back to where it was, because... It's not really any, uh... Easier to aim, even when I turn that down. Like, I probably have to turn it down to, like, negative one million for it to play halfway decent. Okay, uh, can I do it? Okay, we didn't fucking fall, that's cool. Oh, there's like a secret right up there. Actually, this does make the look spring, maybe I'm crazy, but it feels like the look spring is a little bit faster. I imagine that activated the door, maybe on the bottom floor? <clears throat> there is a little bit of draw distance, but it's a lot wider than it was in the first game. And it's not always a fog. Sometimes it's just straight up darkness, which is cool. Okay, so what was I even doing? Oh, I think I went this way? Where did I go? Turn around, help! Don't make me platform game, please! Oh, you motherfuckers. What? Wait, what? Oh, is there a guy, like, right there? Oh, wait, that's right. I don't even think I have to platform over there. You know what? Let's try out the, the, uh, the pistol. Dude, I feel... Ugh. Let's, let's try it. Wait, maybe this is... Oh, it does have Turok Evolution style auto aim. It just didn't work on the bow. Okay. That's interesting. So I'm pretty sure these are all supposed to open. When you get trapped. Okay. Yeah, this is a sign of a good first-person shooter when you need to have your... What the fuck? Your bullets magnetized this aggressively. That's interesting. I thought only Turok Evolution did that. But here it feels a lot more necessary. Like, I mean... I guess Turok Evolution's aiming doesn't really feel much better anyway. Like, they both feel terrible. They're really jittery. And you're so much bigger, it's kind of terrifying. Like, apparently Turok is the size of a child in this game. I remember them being smaller in the, uh, the remastered version. There's, like, some weird FOV thing, I don't know. 
Like, like, I'm not even commenting on the graphics, people. Like, the graphics are okay. Um, I mean, the main thing that the remaster improves on, really, are the, uh, particle effects. I think there's a way to get up there. Let me make sure that door didn't open, okay? Didn't. There's gotta be some way to get down there, though. At least I know I don't have to be that fucking precise. Yeah, that's much easier. Now I just... I, I mean, part of me wants to try the bow just for shits and giggles, just to see if I can get halfway decent. Man. I mean, I remember thinking, man... Fucking PS2 and even like PS4 first person shooters can be kind of jank to aim with compared to like a mouse and keyboard, but well, in particular a mouse, but yeah, I don't think I'm ever using this again. Fuck that. Their animations still look really cool, though, I will say that. I mean, I'll, I'll keep trying it, because, you know, Turok 2 is a good game. And, again, like, as long as I don't have to be that precise about the aiming, I, I guess I can enjoy it for what it is. But it bothers me, I don't know how to get up there. So does this have... Oh, yeah, it does have inventory. I got quite a few fucking keys I gotta go for. The environments in this game are still really cool. Yeah, when you're out... Well, I don't know how I didn't hit, but... Thank God. Come to think of it, like, I never realized until now how much... Yeah, it's almost got, like, a Doom-style anthem going on, sort of. Yeah, that guy's a lot harder to hit. Well, a lot harder to kill. I guess I could do that. Ugh, man, aiming up is a fucking nightmare, man. Oh god, no. I gotta kill these things now. No! Wait, do I gotta aim- Oh my god, I actually have to aim down with this fucking controller? Are you fucking serious, game? Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> I feel like a paraplegic getting beat up by Hulk Hogan right now. I think I got him. God, I have to do... Okay, I literally have to fucking stand still. To even aim at these fucking things. Dude! You know, I'm getting... The, the fucking talons out. Jesus Christ, I thought they were annoying in the, the PC version. <laughs> I pretty much have to use... The talons on those guys. It'll probably be a little bit easier when I get the, uh... Explosive weapons, though, because then I can still burst them down easily. Yeah, I was gonna say, I noticed that Turok Evolution has a lot more similarities to the old school games than I, I thought. So these guys throw grenades just like some of the slings in, uh... Turok Evolution do, so I think that was kind of an interesting throwback. Now, how do I get on here, is the question. Am I gonna jump on this, and then... Yeah, so I think the PC version, the remaster, has uh, some kind of, like, climbing mechanics, where sometimes you'll jump on the surfaces. Oh, okay, I see. I gotta jump on that from there? Ugh. You know, it might actually be easier if I turn off Look Spring for those copies. I'll try turning that off for the time being. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna call this, I try using the N64, but I might change it to Booty Trashes the OG Turok 2 for an hour or whatever it's gonna be. <clears throat> Damn, man, I, I actually gotta go out, get out the bow. So how do I get up on there? Did I miss a switch or something? I know I got the switch there. It, it still is kind of... Oh, God. Oh, I thought it was copies. 
the freaking me out game. Dude, you know what? I'm the greatest gamer ever. Every time I hit one of these fucking bows, you must worship me as though I was a god. And I think you actually have to hold it down for it to deal extra damage. <laughs> totally not luck whatsoever, by the way. I'm a fucking god gamer, man. Wait, hold on. Let me get out the wrist blades. might be easier. Man, and it just occurred to me, like, you know how much easier it is to kill the raptors in the first game? When you jump over them, and, you know, you're kind of circle strafing them. Like, even the act of circle strafing is so much harder in this. Maybe I can experiment with the old school controls. Like, maybe it's easier on this controller if I use the C buttons to move. Okay, so I gotta hold this controller in a really fucking weird way. So, now, my entire left hand is away from the D-pad. So I have my index finger... Wait, make sure I'm not crouched. Yeah. Wait, so if I crouch, does jumping... Oh, that's weird. So when I change... That, it makes the map on the left side as opposed to the right side. It doesn't just change how movement works. But yeah, so I have my... On my left hand, I have my left in index finger on the, uh... Z button. And then my thumb is on the thumbstick. And I'm using my free hand... To, like, touch every other button on the right hand side of the controller. Ugh, this feels so weird. But who knows, it might actually be a lot easier to play this game like this if I can get used to it. I'm not used to... This is like if you were playing in a fucking new age... Oh god, hold on. I gotta fucking... Handle this guy. Uh... Cool flips, bro. Like, to put this into perspective, this would be like if I'm playing a modern shooter and I'm using the right analog stick to move. And the left stick to aim. It feels very unnatural. And the fact that it's inverted on top of everything else, like, oh my fucking god, man. Let's see how it goes, though. You know, maybe... Oh, shit. Maybe I can play it enough that I can get used to it. So... Okay. <laughs> Ugh. I really do feel like a kid right now. A kid that's never played a video game before. So now I gotta use... My right index finger... To jump. Because it's the right shoulder button to jump now. Wait, can I not get on this? It's fucking bullshit. Oh, wait, yeah, I think they need me to platform on this first. I don't even know if I'm holding this controller right. Like, I feel like I'm literally not even holding the thing right. Uh, okay, let me just move a little bit. I did it, gamers. I fucking did it. I don't mean to brag. I'm getting low on health, but man, thank god I picked normal difficulty. <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn it down to fucking easy, though. Eh, I'm not that much of a bitch. I'll try to get good. Man, do I even want- I don't even know if I want to collect for this now. But then again, maybe Ocarina of Time plays better. Y you know what, fuck it. As ridiculous and absurd as it is, I'm gonna literally look up a guide later today to see how to hold an N64 controller. Because like I said, I don't even feel like I'm doing that right. Okay, no more health on here. Okay. God.
The fog looks cool, though, atmospherically. I like the fog. At least most of these enemies go down quickly. I don't like how they, uh... It's a little confusing when they get up again, but I guess I can train myself to... Ignore when they do that. Ooh, flowers. Oh, yeah, those are some fucking 2D-ass flowers right there, yo. Yeah, I want that shotgun. Mm. I gotta find that switch. So I remember there's gonna be like grenade guys over here. Alright. I'm gonna try to be a little subtle. At least it's not that wide of a range. So I guess I'm supposed to... Jump off the bridge there in order to get that, uh, those red things. For the sake of conserving ammo, I'm gonna try to hang on to this a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore you. I don't I don't wanna fight you, man. I really don't. Oh shit. So I don't I don't remember if this game has like some kind of headshot thing. Where the damage depends on whether or not you hit them in the head. I think it does. And that's fun for me. Okay, so I can't really get more. Sounds like there's a guy right over me. Like, way over here, though. Okay, sick dodges, bro. Right in the dick. Oh, wow. He, like, died after he did the attack animation. Even though I didn't hit him. That's... Hmm. Apparently, that's how that works. Ooh. Same, bruh. Okay. I am too rough. And, and by the way, I'm not trying to hate this game in general. Because, like, I, I love Turok 2. I think in a lot of ways it's a straight-up better game than the first one. I mean, I love Turok 1. But I like the environments and enemies more in Turok 2. So if I'm making fun of this game, just keep in mind... I'm specifically talking about the original version. Alright? The remastered version, or even... I'm sure even the... I'm pretty sure there was, like, an old PC version as well. I probably still plays pretty good. Okay, there's something out there. Okay, I guess I can't get up there. I guess I have to go on here. It's probably the way to the bridge, but wait, how do I... Oh, wait, I can't jump any higher, I don't think. Unless I gotta hold it down or something. Oh. Okay, I have a baby hop and then a big hop. So I gotta hold down the right trigger. Man, even Kingsfield plays better than this, man. <laughs> like, I'm missing having to straight and look up and down with the shoulder buttons, man. I'm really missing that. <laughs> Alright, so where do I go now? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'm done over there. There's probably like an extra path or something I'm missing. Oh wait, yeah, there's this warp portal I didn't go through. Uh, I'm gonna get out the pistol again. It just feels better to use. Oh, God. No fucking shit, bro. At least they die in two hits. Turning feels pretty slow, too. Like, I'm applying a lot of force on the thumbstick, but... Well, I hear some kind of swimming noise. Weird. God. My butthole is clenching, man. There's an enemy coming. You fucking serious? There we go. Eat a dick!
I'm trying to think, like, how else I could possibly hold this controller in a way that feels natural. Um... Maybe if I switch hands, maybe I can get this to feel better. Because I'm so used to using the D-pad to move. It's really fucking me up. Change it to that. Okay, I really don't want to have to adjust every time I move the stick, so I'm going to try that and see what that does. So hopefully this will feel a little bit more natural. I guess we'll see. Ah, shit. I'm trying to jump and hopefully hit him with that. Alright, let's, let's try to strafe and shoot him at the same time. We hit him once, we hit him twice, baby. And we're doing it! And we missed somehow. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure these boats have a lot of health and ammo, so let's do that shit. I'm scared to go through the portal, because I know there's like ammo clips I'm missing in the other area, but... I don't want to like, get enemies to spawn in. To be honest. Oh. That's cool. Hopefully they don't disappear. After they land. That was a narrow hitbox on that health. So what's over here in the water? Probably more items, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the more lives, the better. So how many lives I got right now? Three? Wait. So, is this the only way I can see my lives? I actually don't know. So, in order to see my life count and my, my point count with those yellow stone things, I have to actually block motion the screen with the pause button and they don't even stay up. What the fuck? So, wait, what's A and B do? Yeah, that just makes the weapon show up. Is that really the only way? That's so bad. Like, m the icon is literally being blocked. That should be like... <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm overthinking it now. Ooh, a switch. Alright, let's see if I can land on this. Okay, ultimate platforming challenge. Can I do it? Wait, now I really want to hit this. Ah, shit. There's another enemy? No! Yeah, hurry up and die, you dick liver. Okay. <laughs> Come on, man. I got shit to do. I swear the hitbox feels more narrow than it is in the, uh, the remastered version. Or maybe I'm just crazy. I guess the FOV is a lot more zoomed in, so that don't that don't help. Oh, that's right. I've been so distracted by uh, the controls, I forgot to make sure that the audio balancing is good. Hopefully, it's fine. Oh Jesus. Alright. Dude, I can't even imagine- you know that part in the first Turok? Where you have to fucking jump on narrow platforms in the ancient city level? Before you get to the boss? Like, oh my fucking god. I just- Okay, I just imagine trying to do that with these controls. Okay, that part is hard in the remaster with a mouse. Alright, so there's like an end. Okay, let me let me see if I can jump on here and do the platforming again. <laughs> Come on. You can do it, booty. Those are probably 2D burns, too. That's a decent effect, though. Come on, get that health. There we go. 
Oh well, at least I don't have to like do platform to get over here. Power cell required. Uh, I'm trying to think. Did I see a power cell recently? Oh. <laughs> there we go. Did I push that switch? Awesome. Thanks, brah. And now I pushed it. Oh, Jesus. A fast enemy? No! I don't wanna... Make it stop, bruh. These things are actually so scary coming out of the fog, too. Okay, when you're playing the N64 version, it's no longer an action game. It's a fucking survival horror game. I think it's dead. It made a, a dying noise. Okay, it's dead. We survived, bitches. We survived. So I basically am holding the controller the same way I mentioned earlier, but now it's like reversed. Placement on my hand. I I'm just trying to make sure I'm not like overkilling them or some shit. If only I could get more. You know, you know I think in the original Turok you could get a lot more handgun bullets. Oh my god, no! Okay, hold on. wait, hold on. It's actually awkward to switch weapon. At least they have a really short aggro range that helps. Actually helps a lot. Because then you can just back off, pussy out. You know, re-engage. Ah, shit. Alright. Oh, that's right, they actually attack each other, too. Let's see what happens. The fuck? Oh, he's glitched, I think. Man, he really fucking hated that lizard. He was talking mad shit, making all the mom jokes, if I had to guess. Whoa, I just heard, like, a human scream. I don't remember hearing that. Every other time I played this. <clears throat> Alright, awesome. A good weapon. Oh my god, it still feels so sick. Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta watch out for those. Oh wait, what the fuck just happened? Oh, I clicked that apparently. Maybe that was the sound of these guys getting destroyed. Now I know there's an area I can jump down. We do it, gamers. I believe... Right now, can I back up into all the power-ups? Hell yeah. Well, actually, I got them all, apparently. Maybe I do need to adjust my sensitivity a little bit. Thank God, the shotgun's really good. Alright, I must be one with the controller. Don't overthink it, booty. Be calm. Yeah, right in the butt. At least they're not doing that suicide move. It seems like they did it more on hard mode. One-shotted. Oh, I love that animation. They're just garling on their own blood. Hehehe. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, wait, what, what direction am I being hit? Okay. Shotgun is fantastic on normal difficulty. Okay. I'm not sure if this game does have overkill protection. Oh my god, you hear that? It's a child. Don't worry, child. Okay, Discord moderator uh, fucking Turok is on duty. Now I think I already clicked that, right? I'm not even sure. Sub girl. Wait. Oh my god, it's an ambush. And it's just like to imagine they're actually protecting the children from me. They don't have any evil plans with them. They're just trying to protect them from me. There we go. Yeah, this definitely does not have overkill protection. How long have I been playing? Almost an hour. 
Hell yeah! No problem. Alright, so how many children did I get? How many bitch ass kids? Ah shit, I gotta get two more. Oh yeah, there, there's still lots of this level, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Oh, doing those line jumps feels good. You see, it's really hard to push against the thumbstick without it, like, going up. Huh. <clears throat> Alright, let me make sure there's nothing behind me. Yeah, I'm not using that checkpoint quite yet, because I might need it later. I want to be a little more strategic. Yeah, it's really hard to turn without looking up. One-shotted bitch. Ooh, explosive ammo. Oh, wait, how does changing ammo work? I'm actually curious. So does it just default? Wait, what if I hold down B? Hmm. Maybe it's one of the C buttons? Oh yeah. It's the C button, the C up button in this case. I'm not using it quite yet because the enemies aren't that tanky. But uh, good to keep in mind, you know. Okay. Oh shit. Wait, hold on. Let me back up, bro. Oh shit, you motherfucker. You're making me fall and shit. Hey, how fucking dare you? You know, I actually got Duke Nukem on the PS1 today as well, and I, I cannot wait to see how that plays. That probably plays better than this, honestly. I mean, it's literally making me wish I was playing shit like Doom on the PS1 instead. <laughs> Man, it's so hard to do this without fucking... ...falling off, you know? Maybe that's the intended challenge, who knows? Oh god, there's some spooky shit over here. I can feel it. Okay, there's no items or anything over there. Hmm. Maybe there was like a bad guy on the lower level I was hearing, I'm not sure. Hello? It does have really cool sound design though. It's quite atmospheric for a, uh, N64 game. So how much ammo do I get in my, uh, shotgun? Nine, at least for the explosive rounds. It probably goes up to ten. I think that's how that worked in Turok 1 as well. There is an item called the backpack. I don't remember if this game has a backpack. I imagine it does. I'm trying to think how I could hold this in a way that feels more natural. I don't know if I could. Yeah, let's check out these houses. Oh, there's nothing in them. Maybe the way I'm holding the controller is getting in the way of my ability to move the thumbstick. Because I keep looking up accidentally when I'm not trying to. So if I just use my thumb when it's farther away from me, that seems to work. But then I have harder time, you know, accessing. Let's let's actually try the uh, arcade controls now that we have a better idea of how the controls work. Okay, so I can't look up and down. This could actually be pretty good, but how do I strafe? A D-pad strapes, and up and down on the D-pad. Wait, the look spring isn't working. Weird. Okay, let's try Turok with tank control, see if that plays better. 
It might. God, now I gotta adjust my fucking brain again to get used to these controls. I have to avoid clicking up and down on the D-pad and only click the left and right buttons. And I have tank controls for the rest of the thing. Uh, and jump buttons are the same. Okay, I guess I gotta find a switch before I mess with that. Oh my god. Oh, my poor brain, man. See, I'm, I'm trying to fucking back up because I'm used to the... Wait, how do I back up? Can I even turn backwards? How do I actually go backwards? Oh. I just hold down on the analog stick. Okay. This might not be so bad if I hold it a certain way. Let's try. Just have to not fucking fat finger the D-pad up buttons. Probably can't do that. We'll try. Let me adjust my aim. Alright. Can we do it, gamers? Yeah, let's aggro him. We did it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, I want to activate this. I don't remember what exact... I think that just activates a... Uh, ammo and health thing? I guess we can double check in a moment. We'll probably get the guy to respawn if it works like it did in the remaster. Oh yeah, I should probably drink my herbal tea. And they're all conveniently Native Americans, apparently. It's kind of weird how we're off to the side in this cutscene. You think it'd be like in the center of the frame or something. I mean, I guess he's staring directly at the altar. That's the idea. But wait, how do I get the talisman? Like, isn't it supposed to already be here? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh well. That was an accident, by the way, in case you were wondering. Oh my god. Okay, we kind of did it. It didn't feel good, but we get it, gamers. This might be better for how I'm holding the controller. Let's see. These arcade controls. Oh my god. Anything but two of them. Oh god, please. It's, it's hard to, like, turn and go backwards at the same time, you know? That's actually, technically, it's impossible, I guess. I'm not even trying to move, by the way. I'm just trying to fucking turn, but I guess I was pushing too hard on the analog stick. Okay. I, I wonder if you can still shoot down... ...trees, because that's how that worked in Turok 1. You could do that with explosive weapons. Nope! Okay. Zero out of a million. Unless I need, like, a heavier weapon or something to do that. Probably. Oh, God. You know, this is too much of a mind fuck, honestly. Like, I'm going back to the other controls. I 
guess I'll keep it on eight. Why not? Okay, now I have to get used to the controls again. <laughs> Can I really not jump on this? What the fuck? What if I hold down the jump button? Nope. Oh, wait, I don't even have to do that. Okay, never mind. Uh, maybe if I press... Why can't they just have the fucking shoot button on the shoulder button? That, that's literally the only reason it's hard. Okay, I'm trying to think. Please don't chase me behind the wall. Okay, how can I hold this controller? Uh, maybe if I have my middle finger... What if I... <laughs> I'm gonna lose my fucking mind, man. What What if I have my thumbstick? Okay, I think I have a decent idea. Although I'm not sure how much control it's gonna give me over the analog stick. So now I have... Yeah, I guess it's not really any different from what I was doing anyway. So never mind. You know, I'm, I'm looking it up right now, actually. How can hold controller? How to correctly hold an N64 controller. What if I put in turret? Because I feel like it's different per game. I could be wrong. Okay, so this guy's got his whole hand, his whole left hand, on the uh, the middle part of the controller. I might as well try to show it. Hold on. I'll put that above the Elgato. Okay, this is what I'm looking at right now. I was kind of holding it. This is how I have been trying to hold it. I've been holding it like this the entire time. And it's unbelievably fucking awkward. You know, I, I'm gonna say it. Like, I might enjoy the games anyway. But the N64 is quite possibly one of the worst fucking designs of any controller... I've ever fucking seen. Like, the original NES controller looks more comfortable, and it's basically just one big rectangle. Like, like, why... Why is the analog stick just fucking haphazardly placed in the middle? Why are there, like, three prongs coming down instead of the normal two? Why is it so fucking bulky, man? This is... This is bad. This is really fucking bad. But I think that's enough bitching, probably. <laughs> probably. Oh, who am I kidding? It ain't enough bitching. Oh, wait, yeah, there are guys on the uh, the towers, and I can't even go in here, so I probably shouldn't even bother. Because I need the, uh, the power up in order to get over here. I was thinking about getting the original Turok as well, like, even though I recently beat it off camera, like, it, this makes me not even want to fucking do that. I'm sure that, uh, I heard GoldenEye is really good, though. I mean, hopefully it controls better than this. I was told Turok actually plays good for an N64 controller as well. N64 game, rather. It would have cowboy beast dog shit. Like, I'm hoping it's not an issue with the controller itself. The controller doesn't look damaged or anything. Like, there's nothing that's obviously dislodged or fucked up. It 
see how much further I can play. I'll probably play this more off- I mean, I will play it more off camera. And maybe it won't be that bad. Maybe I'll even give you guys a little bit of an update on stream about how that's going. So I imagine I didn't touch that yet. Let's check. Oh. Oh, and it brought me all- oh wait. Maybe it didn't bring me that far down. Oh wait, yeah, it did. Okay, it did bring me all the way down to the bottom of the area. Shit. <laughs> Probably opens up that door if I had to guess. I'll try to at least get through this one little area. Before I call it. I am kind of excited to see how this handles on my, uh... CRT TV, though. I mean, it, the controls aren't going to change, obviously, but... Uh, this actually doesn't look bad on the Elgato. Like, on my HDTV, it really doesn't look bad. Like, the PS2 games look way more pixelated than this does, but... Maybe it's because the PS2 tends to add a lot more detail, I don't know. Right, I'm gonna try to move and aim at the same time. See, oh, I like... See, they got decent AI, though. I don't even know if I can hit them. I can sort of hit him. Ooh. Can I hit it? Hell yeah. Now what did that open? Probably... Wait a minute. Something's hitting me. But from whale! Oh, there's like a secret behind the waterfall. Cool. Classic. Are you dead? No. I'm hoping the range isn't limited too much by the distance fog. Like, it's not just like, oh, it's in the distance fog, therefore it doesn't count. He wasn't quite out of range, so that I'm not sure if that is or isn't a thing. But I'm, I think these bodies disappear. Yeah, they disappear like track Evolution style. I probably do have to mess around with the sensitivity more, but I don't want to spend the entire video doing that. These human models look pretty decent. They got like a nice blood effect on your room too. I actually don't mind. I kind of like it when games give you the option of putting on green blood. Like yeah, generally I prefer red, but green can be like a cool mix up every now and then. Hmm. I don't think I need health, but I at least want ammo. Oh, that's right. I have to save here. Shit. Yeah, I might as well save. So how does saving on the N64 work? Three pages, 123, needed 90. What? What do you mean? Well, that took a while. This game is compatible with Rumble Pack. I gotta look up what the Rumble Pack is, honestly. Does that literally add, like, a vibration rumble effect to your controller or something? I don't think so. It probably means something else. Maybe PS1 was the first console to introduce vibration. Yeah, I don't want to back up too much. I want to, like... Okay, uh... Let me see if I can do this. I'm gonna switch to the tech bow. Okay, didn't quite work. Okay, sick dodges, brah. Now, does this have... No, it does not have... God, this is actually one of the better weapons, too, and it's so hard to hit. I forgot you still have to hold it down. Or else it, like, kind of flies away. Wait, how do you, how do you, uh, zoom in? Let's see, it's probably one of the C buttons, right? Yeah. Oh, that's... Huh. So the C left button 
changes modes. It's kind of weird. Alright, let's see if we can... This does allow you... Let's see if it activates auto-aim. No, it does Well, maybe it wasn't that. Okay, it does actually. It does activate auto-aim. Although it didn't really work in that particular case. Uh-oh. You guys hear that? I hear fucking copies. I think I did. Or maybe I'm fucking crazy. Maybe I'm just paranoid. I guess we might as well. How many lives do I got? I got like five. I'm not too far off. I'm getting a sixth one. Well, actually, I guess I'm kind of... It's not too bad. I think I need to push a switch or something before I could open up this... Yeah. I think I push this and then it gets enemies to spawn. And then one of these gateways opens. Okay, that didn't open. What, wait, I really can't even jump on this? Huh. Man, you're jumping worth shit in Turok, man. Okay, that's not open. Wait, so what did that switch even do? Oh wait, there's another switch right here. So what did that other one do? I think that leads into a completely different area, so I'm going to backtrack a little bit. Okay, bear with me. I don't remember exactly how the levels in this game work. I'm not quite as from, like, um... I don't know. I tend to be a little bit more familiar with the first game's levels. That looks like it opens up to a secret or something. Probably not. It's probably just misaligned geometry or something. So the other, the left C button isn't really doing anything right now. If I press up on it, it changes ammo types. Hmm. I guess I don't really got anything better to do. I guess I might as well go over here. I don't really want to use explosive shots until I come against really strong enemies or I get like super desperate for uh, ammo though. Oh my god. This game just shits its pants. Every time there's an explosion. I feel like there was something right behind me. Oh, I didn't notice there were axes on the wall. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's right. You could open those up. I think they just give you... Health or ammo or something. I don't really need it. Aw. Uh, I guess I maxed out on the arrows. Okay, I guess that opened up this path, then. How did that miss? How did that miss? Damn it, man. We live in a society. Psst. Nailed it. Totally nailed it, brah. I'm so... Man, I am so glad my exposure was the PC version, so I know this game is actually worth playing. <laughs> or I'd be like, this is fucking dog shit, how could anyone defend this? <laughs> Free ammo, don't mind if I do, brah. Hmm. Oh. Wait, am I... I think I'm already maxed out on the ammo, yeah. I guess it doesn't matter. But you know what, I'm, I want, I'm gonna use the shotgun just because I feel like it, you know? It's a cool weapon, it's fun to use. The shotgun in this game is pretty good. Oh, I mostly just did that to see if I could actually land it. I wish the auto-aim worked on the, uh, barrels, but oh well. Yeah, 
If anyone has any pro tips about how to use the controls in an N64 game, I'm all ears, by the way. It's gotta be the jankest fucking play session I've ever had in my entire life. I think that opened up. I think that's new. Nah, this ain't new. I backtracked. Re. Also, I just realized, I mean, I guess I could backtrack to the other save point, but it's going to be a pain in the ass. So I have to play until I find the next PlayStation. <laughs> I can't just stop and save wherever. I do like how they have the cracks in the wall to, like, let you know there's a secret, though. You know what, I don't think what these guys wear is too different from what they wear in Turok Evolution, too. As far as I remember, anyway. Anyway, back to the shotgun. Maybe the spread is, like, affecting the auto-aim in a weird way, I don't know. But, actually, I think we're approaching the end of this area. The end of the level. I mean, it's not gonna let us leave until all the objectives are done, granted. But... You know, I know there's at least a save point not far from here. I haven't even bothered looking at the map. Yeah, that was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. When I blew him off just as he's about to run right into me. Let's see, what is in this building? Nothing. Wait, looks like there's a book or something right there. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to see what was in there at least once. Yeah, I think most of the time it's just, uh, ammo clips. What's really bothering me the most about the controls is just the fact that I can't stop looking up accidentally, man. Maybe I can use my left hand's middle finger to hit the... No, that doesn't really feel good either. Okay, I almost got him. Let's back up so that explosion don't get us. <laughs> Alright, there we go. At least we got some free ammo over here. That's where I gotta hold it down. This is pretty impressive for the time, though. Like, I, I do want to still press on in spite of everything. Now, how do I... Trying to remember how I get up to that top level. So I turned a switch. It did something, of course. Maybe if I go up here? Wait, no, I came from there. Wait, maybe I can jump on the rooftops and then access that area. Ah, using our little teeny tiny little brains today. Oh. That feels so good to get. I mean, granted, I wasn't really that low anyway, but still. And I will take my extra stuff. Okay, so like, what did that switch do? Unless, this is like one of those, oh, it did that. Okay, I see. Which I believe leads to one of the children. Yep. Oh yeah, this room is crazy. Am I actually getting attacked from the top level? 
No. Fuck it. Okay, just jump straight down. I wish there was a way to disable, like, looking up or something. Like, easily. Yeah, eat a dick, brah. I know there's another motherfucker in here somewhere. Probably on the other level. Wait, can I hit you from here if you stay up there? <clears throat> I guess it'll be easier if I just take this path. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna switch over to my pistol for this. Come on. I know you're back there. I guess I'll switch back to the shotgun since I'm about to be in close quarters. Did I get you? Oh damn, you're still alive? Yeah, at least part of them opened. I don't think I can reach this, though. Oh, I okay, I can jump to this one, but not the other one. There's like a ladder I could jump to, but it didn't let me earlier. Maybe I was like just out of range or something. Now, the only issue is I'm not sure how to progress in the other area that I was in earlier. Because this is just going to give me, like, the mission objective. It's not going to really help me progress through the level, you know? And jump down. Oh, wait, there's a teleporter or something right there. Is this open? <laughs> I don't even know. Well, I guess I'm finding out now. Wait, what's the teleporter do? I'm just gonna switch over to my red ammo. Wait. Is this a new area? No, this is where I was earlier, I think. In other words, I don't want to be here. Hmm. I'm trying to remember how to get down there. Okay, so I'm over here. So that's just the shortcut that takes me back to the beginning of this area. Okay. Hold your horses. I'm coming. I say as I herp and dirt my way through the level. Oh, this is a dead end. I can't go over here. Did I come from over here? I don't even remember. There we go. Hell yeah, brother. No problem. Now, how many more children? I used to be kind of weird if I had children in my inventory, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised if I'm not seeing them there. Well, I didn't even one-shot him. Rip. Uh, let me just double-check and see if I can't push that again, because... I could have sworn there were, like, some areas where you actually had to, like... Run over to certain areas after pushing labors? Labors? No. I guess I could always do this. You know, if I'm getting lost. Okay. Okay. I did look it up. Apparently, I've been missing that. Oh, well. We're good, though. We, we got it figured out now. He's too fast. Come on. Where you going, big boy? Yeah, 
Maybe I should switch. Maybe I should switch to my wrist plate or something? I don't really know. Okay, so I can push that in. Is there anything else over here? Oh, there is action. Ah, shit. There is action. Oh, no! Get the fuck away from me! Okay, dodging for the win. Of course, these guys have really good tracking in this game. So they're a little bit harder to dodge in general, even on the PC port. Hmm. You know what, I'm... Do I really want to switch to the tech bow? I don't know, man. Wait, can I go over to this? And still get auto-aim? Okay. It doesn't really feel like it has auto-aim, to be honest. So what if I switch over to the explosive arrows? Does that still... Does it get auto-aim? No. I was definitely wrong there. I guess I'll switch over to normal arrows for the time being. So if I switch over to this, what does that do? Okay, so it makes it so I don't have to hold it down. That's actually quite useful. I gotta wait for their death animation to finish before I can actually pick it up, though. So I gotta keep that in mind. Apparently, in the original... Wait, can I not jump in this mode? Oh, I can. So I can zoom in. Or can I? Sorry, I'm trying to understand how this fucking works. So when I activate the scope, I am no longer able to jump. Instead, if I'm pushing up on the D-pad while holding the jump button, it zooms in and makes my character still. But if I press down, it zooms out. If I let it go, I can still move around. As long as I don't hold the jump button. And I can't jump at all. And if I mess with the jump button with this mode enabled, Apparently, it will cause me to, uh... Zoom in, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I like that mode, because being able to jump is kind of nice. It feels nice when you perfectly align all the enemies with your projectiles, though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh shit, the fuck? Where? Probably up there. Whoa man, this is hell on my fingers right now. <laughs> Holding down the button like this, ugh. Yeah, I gotta back up. Come on, yeah, fight on my turf, motherfucker. There is a very, very subtle auto-aim, it appears. It's a lot harder to notice compared to, uh, using straight-up hit-scan weapons, though. Not holding it down is perfect for, like, really short-range battles, though. Got him, Laura. I got him. I'm just playing until I get to the next uh, save point, actually. So, probably not too far off. Sick dodges. Yeah, right in the throat. Hey, okay, I fuck around. So what does this do? Does it open up like a shortcut or something? Oh, please don't open up copies. 
Okay, you guys aren't so bad. I can handle fighting you guys, but I don't want to fight copies of raptors. It's really hard to, like, switch weapons mid-combat, too. Okay, you can do it, but you can grab those arrows. There we go. This probably leads to the last child, if I had to guess. Uh... Yeah, I definitely want to try to aim for the top part. Ooh, shells. Don't mind if I do. You know, it's it's weirdly satisfying to use the bow, actually. Right, let's turn this back on. Jumping is overrated, bruh. Okay, maybe I need it for this. Nah, I can't jump high enough. I couldn't possibly grab it with the edge of my hand. Dude, this motherfucker takes arrows to the dick like a boss. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is not great in melee combat, honestly. When they're really trying to fucking get you, it's kind of hard, man. Hell yeah. Wait, did I really lose all my arrows? What the fuck? Oh, that's bullshit, man. I guess I'll go back to the uh, pistol since I'm starting to run low on ammo. Yeah, I definitely don't need those. Ooh, a lever. Any enemy in here? No. Free help, though. Hell yeah. Alright, now what did this open? It didn't open that. Wait, yes it did. Wait, it opened up something. Make sure there's nothing in the back here. I think this opened up. Maybe I gotta get up here somehow? Oh, it opened up that path. I see, I see. There we go. I say the, uh... Fog of War is just long enough... That I can still... Get a good idea of my surroundings without thinking too hard about it. What did that do? Lower the ladder? Yeah. Quite a roundabout way to open a gate. Oh, shit. There we go. I do like this game's, like, pseudo-cinematic moments, though. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's right. I gotta get those keys. I haven't really been finding too many of those. How many do I have now? I got two more. And I may or may not find the rest of them before it's too late. I'm not sure, man. How many children? Yeah, two keys and uh, one more kid. So that undoubtedly opened up that path. Let me just make sure I'm not about to... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's progress. Total waste of pistol ammo. Flips, but whatever. I'm just that desperate, man. You can do it, booty. Minimum hits. You know, I, I barely even remember the boss from this game, so... The one boss I did reach before I stopped playing years ago when I was a kid. So that's going to be interesting to get to. And, and honestly, I don't know if it's just me, but holding the controller the way I am is actually starting to give me, like, purple tunnel or something. I guess my hand can get used to it to a de degree, maybe. Okay, both of them opened. Let's see if I got shotgun ammo. Yeah, I... Oh, wait. No, I didn't have the full ammo, at least. I know that much. Alright, let's try to fucking dodge around. It's at least one of them dead. Just trying to spam click. That's pretty much the main way you avoid damage in the Turok games generally. Yeah, it's really weird. It's like they have to register they're taking damage at the time. Before they, like, uh, drop dead from your hits.
My favorite thing is when you just blow up their heads, which I think I actually ended up doing. Alright, so before I go through that checkpoint, I'm pretty sure that's a checkpoint. I could be wrong, that might be... Oh god, I hope it's not the fucking... Chaos Dudes portal. Oh, please. No way, no, no, no. I don't think that shows up until, like, the very end of the level. So I think I'm good. Uh, I'm not gonna get ammo quite yet. In fact, I'm probably not gonna get health either. I'm just gonna save here. You will be deleting the old note. Would you like to overwrite it? Yes. So am I able to like pick slots? It kind of looks like it. And I don't know if it's a good idea. I mean, I guess it's not the worst load time for saving I've ever seen. It's kind of an interesting shot. Like looking at the backside of a rafter or something. Wait, am I not able to get more ammo? Even though this is a totally different checkpoint? So if I use health, that would be it for the entire level? Huh. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's it for Classic Turok. I've definitely had my fair fill of it for the night. Probably gonna try that Duke Nukem game I got on the PS1 as a bit of a palate cleanser. I don't know, man. Like, like I said, like the game itself is fantastic, but it's hard to go back. But maybe if I play it long enough, I can kind of get used to it's a weird jank, and maybe I can stop looking up accidentally. Maybe I can keep experimenting with the sensitivity and the control settings. I might even, like, look up... Maybe there's, like, recommended settings for Turok, too. I don't know. Yeah, that'll do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.